What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Down Man Podcast, episode number eight. I'm your host, Tyler Williams, and today we're diving into a prehistoric adventure as I take you through my incredible visit to Waco Mammoth National Monument last October. It's a place where ancient giants, known as Colombian mammoths, once roamed, and I can't wait to share my unforgettable experience with all of you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also be sure to subscribe if you want to see more episodes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, before we dive into the ancient mysteries, let's talk about the epic journey that began at the gift shop. Picture this, shelves filled with mammoth delights, and what caught my eye? A book that became my key to unlocking the secrets of Waco Mammoth. I couldn't resist, folks. I grabbed that book and something that's now the star of my magnet collection, a 3D lenticular magnet that brought these creatures to life in ways I never imagined. Trust me, it's like having a mini Pleistocene park on your fridge. I also bought a sticker as well. But the excitement didn't stop there. I got two tickets to the dig site, the heart of the action. One for me, and one for my dad. Picture this. A display table showcasing actual fossils from various Pleistocene animals that once roamed these very grounds I was standing on. Western camels, saber-toothed tigers, ancient bison, dire wolves, giant ground sloths, and mastodons. It's so awe-inspiring to see the remnants of creatures that lived alongside the mammoths. Now here's where it gets hands-on and family-friendly. The Junior Sand Pit, a treasure trove for young paleontologists. I had the chance to dig for fossils and hold them in my hands, just like a real paleontologist would. I picked up a fossil replica, and as I held it in my hand, I felt something sending chills down my spine. There's something inexplicably powerful about holding the remains of a creature that roamed the earth thousands of years ago. It's not just a rock, it's a bridge connecting me to a time when colossal creatures actually existed. In that moment, I felt a profound sense of awe and wonder. And of course, the guided tour on Mammoth Trail was the highlight of the day. Walking the footsteps of these majestic creatures alongside other tourists guided by a knowledgeable park ranger was an experience I'll never forget. The trail offered a glimpse into the mammoth's world and the unique ecosystem they were a part of. Walk with me as we uncover the significance of each step and the tales embedded in the very ground beneath us. On our way to the dig site, we took a little break as we heard the tour guide explaining about what the area looked like during the Ice Age. The bit is the consistent ice in North America during said Ice Age seems to stop about where Kansas is. Meaning anywhere below there, like here, would have been a tad warmer than one might expect. Then again, maybe it's exactly as warm as one should expect we're in Texas. As we reached the Dick site, I was stunned. The building was huge, measuring up to 110 feet long, 75 feet wide, and totaling 8,350 square feet. Pretty big, right? I was wondering, what is in that building? Before he we went inside, the ranger had to stop outside and explain the story about how the mammoths were discovered. Let me tell you all the story. In 1978, two local men, Paul Barron and Eddie Buffkin, were exploring the dry creek bed when they spotted a bone sticking out of the ground. They know they'd found something unusual, so they took it to the Strecker Museum at Baylor University. Strecker Museum staff member David Lentz quickly identified it as part of a leg bone from a Colombian mammoth. Sam Jack McGlasson, who owned this land, saw the importance of these mammoths and donated the land to the city of Waco in 1996. The city and Baylor University helped form the Waco Mammoth Foundation which raised money to build the dig shelter, welcome center, and other improvements. The Waco Mammoth site opened to the public in 2009, welcoming visitors from around the world. As I walked through the entrance of the excavation site, I was greeted by a life-sized mural of a male Colombian mammoth. 
The tour guide revealed that these giants stood up to 14 feet tall and weighed up to 20,000 pounds. Whoa, that's pretty ginormous, isn't it? I had no idea they were that big. Standing next to a life-size mammoth made me feel so small. Can't imagine how I would feel standing next to a real mammoth. I'd probably be frightened and wouldn't get too close. Now let's talk fossils. Imagine stumbling upon the remains of these colossal creatures that walked the Earth 65,000 years ago. The mammoth fossils unearthed here provide a glimpse into a world long gone, and the meticulous work of paleontologists is nothing short of remarkable. Waco Mammoth National Monument isn't just about bones, it's a place where history comes to life. The dig site provides a deep dive into the ice age and the environment these mammoths thrived in. The nursery herd consisted of over 24 Colombian mammoths. Only six of their fossilized remains have been uncovered. The tour guide revealed that the dig site's paleo crew are still in the middle of digging up the whole herd. There are only 18 more mammoths left to be dug up. I'll be covering all of that in part 2 of this video, so stay tuned. And there you have it folks. Our adventure through Waco Mammoth National Monument comes to a close. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour, and if you ever find yourself near Waco, Texas, be sure to check out this prehistoric dig site. Now before we end today's episode, I want to give a quick review about the place. Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. The guided tour was very informative. The knowledgeable tour guide not only shared the scientific wonders hidden within the excavation site, but also transported me back in time with vivid stories about the mammoths that once roamed these grounds. It's not just a tour, it's a captivating journey through the Texas Ice Age. Thank you so much for listening to Dino Man Podcast. This is your host, Tyler Williams, signing out.